Hi friends! In a previous video, I did a comparison of Hujicam and Gudak Light photos. I had so much fun making that video that I got interested in other disposable camera apps after. That's why for this video, I'll be trying Kujicam for the first time and I'll be putting it up against my current favorite, Kujicam. I'm excited to see the photos and use these apps, so let's find out! Now before we start, let me share with you my camera app settings in case you want to get the same results or you need a walkthrough on how to use these apps. First, Hujicam. To set up Hujicam, tap on the small viewfinder. On the right side of the expanded viewfinder, you'll find some of the app settings that are available to you. My settings are random light effects off, photo quality high, flash is turned off. Another thing that you'd want to set up is the date stamp, which is 9098 by default. To go to the date stamp settings, tap on lab, then tap on the three bars on the top of the screen. Find date stamp and then set to current year. And that's it! Next, Kujicam. Kuji looks very similar to Fujicam and because of that, you'll find the same things in the same places. However, with Kujicam, you'll get the expanded viewfinder right away as soon as you launch the app. Now, my Kuji settings are Light Leaks Off. There are a lot of filters. There are free ones, there are paid ones, but for the purposes of this video, I'll be using the normal filter. And then flash is turned off. There's no need to set up the date stamp because it's set to the current year by default. If you want to access the rest of the app settings, just tap on Film Lab and then tap on the three bars on the top of the screen. We are lucky, it's a beautiful weekend, the sun is out, the weather is fine, so we're going to the beach, we're going to pass through a beautiful open field, so Come join me, let's go, let's take some photos. Now let me talk about the interface first. What's great about both Huji and Kujicam is that you can use them without being connected to the internet. Between Huji and Kujicam, Kuji is more user-friendly than Huji. When you open Kujicam, you get the expanded viewfinder right away. Also with Kuji, photos are automatically saved on your gallery or camera roll. With Huji Cam, you have to go to the film lab, view the photos, and then save them one by one, which is a hassle. Now with Kuji Cam, it takes longer to launch the app. I timed it. It takes anywhere between 5 to 10 seconds for the app to launch. Also, when you're online, there are a lot of ads. That's why it's better to use Kuji Cam offline.
Now let's talk about the quality of photos taken using Huji and Kujicam. First with Huji, contrast is high, saturation is high, you get a nice vignette, there are no random dust, particles or scratches. Overall, you get highly dramatic photos, really strong colors. However, details are lost in the shadows, in the blacks. So if you're the type of person who likes to see more details in your photos, you might like Huji less. Now with Kujicam, on the other hand, if you use the normal filter, you'll get more accurate colors. However, a little softened, it's still much accurate than the colors that you'd get from Kujicam. And then you also get a nice vignette. However, Kuji puts random dust, particles, and scratches on its photos, which can be a hit or a miss. And when it's a miss, the effects look fake, they bring down the overall quality of the photos, and they make the photos less than perfect. You. Which do you like better, Kujikam or Kujikam? Let me know in the comments below. My lies, memorize.